Hey, Jared here from Sound Guitar Lessons. This is just a totally different video than I usually do. Ditching all the production value and just want to talk about something really simple, really important that has come up a few times in a row with different uh, colleagues and friends of mine. And I just felt called to make this impromptu video about it, which is that there's nothing you actually need to be practicing. There's nothing you should know. I've said this before in other videos, but I want to take this a step further and just encourage you to make sure that you are connected to music that you love, that you're listening to music that you're inspired by, and that that love for music, that inspiration is what creates the drive for you to actually learn and practice. I absolutely love uh, learning, practicing, you know, doing drills, uh, creating exercises, and to to some extent, certainly I love that for its own sake. However, I am thoroughly connected to understanding what it is about those types of exercises, how those exercises will get me to what I want out of music on a much, much deeper level, on a on like a life fulfillment, finding purpose. A flow state kind of level, the, the type of thing that makes you feel good about being alive. You know, that is the artistic power of music and the beauty that we can experience from any anything aesthetic, right? Any art form, um, any experience, those potent moments uh, of being a human. And the exercises and the practice and the drills and all the here's step one, step two, step three, practice this, practice that. All of that should be serving our deeper purpose of that fulfillment that we know is possible from, from the art form that we're chasing. And the journey is truly what it is all about. And I do love the challenge and the long game and all of that. But if we don't see that light at the end of the tunnel as far as What's this next step getting me toward? What is my North Star and why am I doing this right now? Why am I doing this really hard thing right now? We need that North Star. So my suggestion is that if and when you do not feel connected to that deeper uh, drive, that deeper magnetism that that music is pulling you towards, the true inspiration and, and your aesthetic preferences, your taste, for music, then when and if we aren't connected to that, we need to spend our energy, our practice time, our, you know, our job is to seek that out. Listen to a bunch of things, listen widely, go out, see some live music, um, or lay down in the dark and put some headphones on, or take a walk and, and think about, you know, what was the thing that made you feel most alive when you were a kid when it comes to art or music. And go towards those things, try to play them, try to feel connected to them, try to compose like them, do whatever it is that, that is right for you. And the most challenging part about all of this is that there is no blueprint. We can go, we can do anything. You can go towards and try anything you want. There really are no rules. And when you feel like you hit a wall, when you feel a limitation or a hurdle, when trying to actually go towards that truest, deepest goal that you have with the music, that is when you go seek out the exercises, right? So I'm coming at it from creating resources, a library of uh, videos and everything that I've ever used to help me get through those roadblocks. That's what I create, right? So of course, that can, the inspiration can serve the opposite way where I say, hey, check out this exercise. This helps with this thing. And then you can reflect on that and say, oh, is that is that thing something that I want to do? Do I want to play chord melodies? Do I want to improvise over jazz chords? Or is that all just academic stuff that isn't part of your North Star? Right? That might be. So when we go towards our North Star, then we will know that there are certain threads connected to that that take us to where we actually want to go. I'm trying to create the path and the threads that help you get closer to those things. And sure enough, you know, I put out a lot of videos, a lot of lessons. It's not stuff that everyone is supposed to know. It's supposed to be the stepping stones, the little bridges that connect you to the thing that you actually want to learn. So make sure you're connected to the thing that you actually want to learn and then use the exercises and then go search them out, right? Search my channel, search other channels, you know, look, look for it for, for the thing that's going to help you have an easier time 
going deeper uh, with finding that fulfillment for yourself with music. And that's why I say on my channel, I'm, I'm helping with the musicianship skills on the guitar so we can express ourselves more freely because that truly is what it's all about, at least for me. And I believe for, for most of us, that's, that's really the, the motivating factor. And then all the academic stuff can be so pleasurable when we know that it's leading to the deeper level of fulfillment. So I hope that that felt helpful. And this is the first time I've done a video like this where there's no um, outlining. I didn't set up my filming lights. I didn't, you know, set up the backdrop. And I just wanted to share off the cuff this very important sentiment with you that has come up as I discussed uh, these types of topics with a few friends recently. And it's a very important message. And I may uh, emphasize it more and more often because I don't want people to think that the exercises are the be all end all. They are a, again, a stepping stone towards what truly matters to us. So let me know if you found this helpful, the message and, or if you found the uh, different video style distracting or any thoughts at all, um, this can be a conversation. I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Uh, and thank you so much. See you in another video in the future.